I'm just enjoying feeling well enough to do the dishes and just kind of like bebop around. Uh, I made that up, but. Good morning, guys. Don't forget to take your all trace. Mary, uh, we were trying to figure out what to have for lunch, and you know how Mary took unrisen dough and made flatbreads? Well, we froze those, and we pulled a couple out today to make flatbread pizzas for lunch. And look at this. It looks really good. Oh. Let it focus. Looks really good. This has jalapeno. We're going to enjoy some flatbread pizza. It's a beautiful day. Kind of a high 60 degrees. Um, what do you think of that? Mm. Good? Probably good. All right, we're gonna eat. Peter's outside working. And yeah, we're just having a quiet day. And now I'm gonna go fill up our bird feeder filler uppers with the bird seed in the garage. Some frozen spaghetti squash. It was already cooked. Like I cooked it and then I froze it. Then I thawed it out overnight in the fridge and it worked perfectly. So that was an experiment I did. Uh, some zucchini, onion, a little bit of jalapeno and ground beef and then spaghetti sauce with some cheese on top. So we just had this actually like hmm, a few days ago but I felt like this was all I could come up with, so there we go. Mary and I enjoyed a delicious dinner out here, and I was just, she brought out some fresh strawberries, and um, it's delightful out here, and I've been working on, I'm, uh, I get to preach for an Easter service that will be online and so I'm working on getting ready for that and uh, it's been although it's an interesting I mean these are obviously interesting and crazy times that we're living in but it's an interesting Easter has always been my favorite Sunday of the year to preach and uh, pastoring in Massachusetts we had a big like party celebration on Easter Sunday and the mood this year is a little different and yet there still is confidence and there's uh, a peace to be found in the midst of crisis and chaos and so while it's not the usual party uh, atmosphere it'll be everybody in their own homes watching on a computer screen um, but there are things we can hold on to in the midst of uncertainty and that is what the celebrations have always been about and so in some ways it's the same but in other ways it's very different. Peter and I are going to be on a zoom service for a good Friday um, and we're, we have like a speaking part during that service so he's been working on that as well as he's preaching on Easter Sunday via video we were supposed to be at um, our home the church we grew up in in Maryland and he was going to be preaching live but of course everything's different now so he's preparing for that and then the Good Friday service we're going to be speaking at is a North Carolina church um, but of course it's on zoom as well so um, he's just gonna be working a lot for the next 
week or two, but I came inside after we ate dinner and I had a cucumber that we just weren't reaching for. So I cut some of it up and put it up in this jar with some salt and celery seed. Why is this not opening? There it is. And then this is, I only had apple cider vinegar, so that's what it is. And some sugar that I melted together and let it cool. And then I'm pouring it over my soon to be pickles. And these are just like refrigerator pickles. So they won't last forever, just about a month. But I'm gonna put them in the fridge and let them kind of, I guess, ferment a little bit. I don't really know if that's the correct term, but um, let them, oh, I should shake them up so the spices get distributed. Okay. I also chopped up, I had a few small tomatoes left and they were starting to get kind of wrinkly and I chopped up part of the cucumber and put it in there and I'm gonna make like a summer salad tomorrow with some avocado in it. And then lastly, well, I had chopped up some onion, so it's ready to go for whatever recipe I make tomorrow. And then I cut up the cucumber and put some celery and carrot as well. So that's kind of like a ready snack, I guess. And then, you know those last two bananas that were really sad and brown? I smashed them up and I made some banana muffins and I've never made banana bread before, I don't think. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, I remember one more thing. So we have one serving, one large serving of what we had for dinner, the spaghetti squash, and then we had a big pot, well, a glass bowl, like a bigger glass bowl of the cabbage and, what is it? Cabbage and kale soup. And I just knew I wasn't gonna be in the mood to finish it all. So I decided to have just one serving kept in the fridge and then I put it in a bag and we froze it. And I'm just like freezing everything. I cooked uh, that ground beef today and I only used half of it so I put the other half in the freezer and I'm just like, these are my flatbreads that I made. Freezing everything. I even froze some salsa because I didn't think we were gonna use it in time. And I froze it knowing that our salsa chicken recipe would work out with frozen salsa. I probably wouldn't. I would guess the texture would be off if if I thawed it out and then wanted to eat it with chips. I'm just gonna guess that is probably a no-go, but who knows? If you've frozen salsa before and it turns out fine, let me know. But um, that's what I've been up to since dinner ended. I also did the dishes. And I'm just enjoying feeling well enough to do the dishes and just kind of like bebop around. Uh, I made that up, but um, I guess that's the term for like just doing things around the house and having a good time. My lungs started hurting la like late last night and it still like felt off today, but the pain was like very minimal. Um, then I had some like rumbly in my lung and I don't know, something was, has been a little bit off but overall I still feel well and uh, you know maybe a little bit extra time resting today compared to other days but overall I am definitely doing much better than I was a few weeks ago Ta -da! hey you guys it is actually the next day and we're I think maybe two days later from the vlog as you guys know during this quarantine <laughs> season of our lives uh, days are sort of blending together and time is a warp and mary is vlogging a lot so this was actually the second half of the video before and so we're making uh this vlog and i realize that there's no good night so i'm gonna say as always we'll see you tomorrow good night guys good night to the ollie boy and good night to the merry girl.